All right, everyone. Welcome back for another pallet day at the warehouse. Time to uh, load the van. Bought another mystery pallet here. I actually bought a mystery pallet, then one box. And I think like a bag. So I think the box might have camping gear, which would be really awesome. Jeez. I don't know what's in this thing, but this thing is ridiculously heavy. All right, onward we go. All right, so we're back. As you see, buyer number 24. I bought this. This is 195A. That was the lot. Uh, yeah, so I spent 100 bucks for a whole day. Uh, I know these boxes kind of left trashed. They were on a pallet. That's where all these like small individual boxes were. Um, I spent $25 for that pallet. The most I spent was I spent $30 on that box over there. So uh, we'll see what we got and hopefully find some treasure. I know there's a lot of Abercrombie clothes in this thing. Kind of a cool little uh, cool thing there. So let's, let's jump in and see what we got. This thing's still sealed. This one over here, Foot Locker. Junction City, Kansas, but it went to Foot Locker in Queens, New York. Pick date, 1998. That's not 78, that's 98. Let's see what we got. All right, so let's jump into the first box here. I'm not very hopeful for these boxes. I really like what's in this clothes. I think I like what's in that box over there. But we're going to go through these boxes because, well, they're right in front of me. Um, so, yes, 100 bucks. Hopefully, it did all right. This just looks like a great mystery of items. At first, I thought it was maybe going to just be trash, but I think it's, you gotta remember, it's stuff people stored. So, that's vintage. That's a good start. It's a good start. Find some goodies. Oh, what is all this stuff? That's an old photo. In a new frame. Was up with the shower curtain rings. Some more pictures. Yeah, that stuff is all vintage. It's vintage, but it's not. Well, maybe we'll have some stuff down here. I see a Walkman, maybe. There we go. Cassette. Cassette quarter. TCM 453V. Made by Sony. Looks to be in good shape. That might be like 10 bucks on eBay. So I'm gonna try to see what we get. Picture is kind of nice. It's sort of interesting. It's, it looks like it's plastic. Kind of cool. Dropping everything. All right, we'll dive in and see what we, we find here. All right, so we're digging through this box and it looks like it has some Jesus religious stuff. I don't think that's silver, but all this religious stuff sells very, very well. At Lamaville, there is some brass items here. Some more religious items. Let's see what they are. I don't know. Um, that's not. That's why I say that's not chalkware. It's actually his hands broken. That's made in China. It's actually pretty neat. I don't know if that goes on the wall. I don't know. How would that indent like that? Unless it goes into a picture frame. I'm not too familiar, but it seems like this box is going to have some religious items. There is some china. It is relatively older stuff also. So vintage. She's oh. dropping things. More China wares. So There's probably about close to 15, 20 hours in random. So this is probably going to all break. They wrapped all that in one little thing. All right, we'll jump into the next box. This is actually kind of cool. I did a quick search on eBay, but I couldn't find some uh, or any Abercrombie Fitch Company hanger, probably from the store itself. Um, 
So maybe that'll be an eBay piece. I don't know. Maybe I can even get 20 bucks for it. Unless they're up there and I'm just missing them. That box is still sealed, so I have high hopes for that. But, I mean, it could be anything. It could be a speaker in there. This is a... That's a flashback. Um, let's see what else we got in here. Comfort. Oh, these are brand new. What size are these? Uh, ooh, large. All right, well... I do, whenever I do any work on my lawnmower stuff, I wear these gloves. So, not those same exact ones, but similar. This might be an alarm clock. Things are sliding out of my hand. It's not that um, I don't have the hands to do it. It's that literally it's so cold. Things are just, it feels like it's grabbing an ice cube. It looks like paperwork. I'll go through this bag at another time. It is old but it's hard as a rock I'll just take a little peek I don't know what we're looking at in here these are I feel like fake Easter eggs I don't know about this one right here it's a cool bag unfortunately it's all beat up passport visas tickets something oh it's for Haiti going to Haiti See what else we got in here. See, this is all vintage. Like, this is vintage stuff. Torch is not. Oh, what's that in the bottle? It's an old. I don't even know if this is in here. It feels like it's in there. Look at this thing. Is that a beauty or what? It's an old travel bag. From British Airways. From my experience, I know I found like some TWA ones like this. They don't sell for that much, but I mean, British Airways, you don't find that a lot in America. Something's jingling around. This is not good. Nope, nope. Paperwork, more paperwork. Some wire. These are folders for more paperwork. Sure, this is uh, sir. that's a report card this is one of those screws that go on the end of uh, a dumbbell I don't see a dumbbell unless that's what's in there all right on to another box picture of Jesus is that it's a picture of Jesus taped over an art picture yeah, the Book of Mormon we we'll have to do a little bit of unwrapping here to see what's really here. If you ever see this old newspaper, it's always like you almost guarantee you're going to find stuff from the 70s, 80s. I'd, I'd imagine this paper is probably from the 80s. Um, no, it's from 1994. It's pretty close. It looks like this, it feels like it's all glassware. But I'll have to go ahead and look. Maybe I'll find that really, really rare Pyrex piece in here. Yeah, it's like they took away their kitchen from the mid-90s and just threw it into a storage unit. So I'm going to do a little bit of digging and see if we can find anything inside this box. But it looks like it's going to be mostly just kitchenware stuff. That's a blast. From the past, it's even moldy. Spice drops. Wow. This is kind of cool. I saw this just laying right here, so I wanted to make note of it. I don't know if this is vision wear. It's got a... Well, it is vision wear because it says vision on it. I thought it was interesting because it has a textured bottom. You don't see that that often with the vision wear stuff. I don't know if... Uh, it's worth a whole lot. I don't know if Vision Wear is even collectible. It's not like in the ballpark of regular Pyrex and collectability. I'm sure people probably do collect it, but when I say collectible, I mean, is there a big enough following where it has like its own following? Got a big stainless bowl right there. Still trying to find the other pieces. Still trying to find 
Hey, my record people out there, you got some records. What would you pay for all these records right here? Or do you have to see them before you buy them? That's why I want to see them before you buy them, but if you're at an auction like this, you can't really see them before you buy them. Ooh, that's a really nice looking clock. I've seen a couple clocks so far in here, and I kind of didn't make note of it just because I was like, I don't know if you guys really want to see clocks dropping things. I, uh, my fingers are like frozen right now, so everything's just going numb. But let's see what kind of records we have. And if they're in there, it's a different story. African Latino voodoo drums. I don't know any of these people. Oh, I know that person. I know when I show you... Oh, that one didn't sound too good. When I show these records, people then tell me that there's one record in there that's worth $300. So I just show you guys, and you guys let me know, because I'm looking at stuff that I have no idea, except for Wendy Houston, I don't know who any of those people are. So that was the records. Might be more, might not be more. That's a cool clock. And when I said there's more clocks, it's like, I think this is another clock. It is. Some, D, uh, some DVDs in here. Let's see what kind they are over here. They look like bootlegs. They're thin like that. They're bootlegs. I don't know, I don't know what I just showed you guys. These are clipboards. Man, some random stuff. What the heck is this? Is this a whip? Oh, it's almost like it has something that you're supposed to put in the ground. What am I looking at? The worst part about doing this is sometimes I feel so dumb when looking through this stuff. That's just a bag, empty bag. So a couple bucks in here. I think the clock is going to be what makes some money. Looks like a beauty, but I have no idea what it is other than a clock. A battery operated clock. Yep, battery operated. And a little case. Collectible. And all those lights that you see everywhere. What's in there? But what's in here? I don't know. I just ripped this open and I was like, oh, maybe it's a jewelry box. I don't think it's a jewelry box, but it looks like a mini record player, which might be worth some money. All right, so I went ahead and took this out. This is a beauty. Look at that vintage piece. I think it's supposed to have a case, though. It's, I'm feeling like that's probably the handle for it, but this probably cost a fortune. It uh, looks like it's also a radio. I don't see the cord that goes to it. It's model number KP747. It looks in good shape. They taped it nicely. UNIC. It's kind of cool. It might not be worth a fortune, but it looks really, really cool. I didn't see records that fit that. Like, obviously, those records wouldn't. Um, uh oh. Declaration of Independence. There's nothing in there. 1972. Most random stuff. Two way speaker from Sears. So you never really know when you buy these pallets what's in these boxes, especially if they're sealed. You have no idea. These are pots and pans. Which is so interesting. There's a lot of stuff that's vintage, but it's not like million dollar pieces. Like what's in that box? That's probably some sort of decoration. We'll grab that. And it's got some jingle to it. They can sell by the piece. Oh no, it's some sort of plate set. Oh, that's really nice. That corningware. No, it's Gale, Galeston Sutton. It's a set. It's a whole set in there. It's kind of neat. I guess this isn't the original box, they just found a box. 
does anyone know what this is and if it's good i think it's rum because it says rum on top but that might not be how you actually spell rum in other words or in other languages it's barba something my culture is really showing here it says liquor bottle so i'm assuming that's liquor in there but that is a uh, thick that's not a uh, i don't think that'd go down pretty smoothly looks almost like syrup it's almost a half a bottle if you're thirsty i'm not gonna drink that i have no idea what that is just an ice bucket and we got more glassware this is all like just and then it's a vintage one yeah some more glassware and kitchen stuff so i don't want to bore you guys with all these clothes here but i did spend ten dollars on this whole suitcase of clothes i don't think there's anything special in here um But once I dig out everything, you're going to notice there's a lot of um, American Eagle and Abercrombie. So you see Abercrombie. Um, so my hope is that you see more Abercrombie here. The person must have just collected Aber These are Abercrombie sweaters. I want to hope that I can make up. Let's see what brand we're lucky brand. It's all almost like uh, I wouldn't say fast fashion. Let's see if this is more. Yeah, more Abercrombie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash them, and then I'm going to make up big lots of maybe 10 or 15 thermal style long sleeve shirts. Yeah, lots of Abercrombie and Fitch. So we'll give it a go, and hopefully. Uh, It'll pay off. This is more of just, I bought it for uh, the value, you know, getting a, a good deal and hopefully making some money on this palette rather than find the mystery item. Uh, I just know there's going to be money in that suitcase. So that's why I bought it. That's also a uh, an air conditioner that was in my lot. So it's an air conditioner. Nothing really too appealing with it. I might as well start my own restaurant here in a second. I don't know what that is. It looks like you have more Tupperware. Wow. It's packed pretty neatly. That's kind of cool. Why's it got a lock on it? The heck is the purpose of that? I don't understand. Hey. Why would you save that? Empty. That's pretty cool. By Thermo Temp. Needs to be cleaned up. Hopefully, there's a set in here somewhere. Ooh, what is this thing? Oh man, some people probably don't know what the heck this is. It's a camera. I just don't, like, there's so much cookware. It's another camera. Well, that's a mini cassette recorder with the original styrofoam. There's just so much glass. Everything that's wrapped up is just literally mugs and cups. I think that's all that's in here. This might be like a blender or a prime more cup. No, definitely not either. An imitation copper candlestick. If I'm missing anything, you let me know because I'm not seeing it. You guys always let me know. 
picture frame some more. It's just more Tupperware at the bottom, more cups. Unbelievable. I mean, it's like it could have been anything, but instead it's almost 70s through 90s kitchenware. I really like these boxes, but this is what we got into this one. So I spent $25 on it. I probably, I wouldn't say I overpaid, but that's really cool. It's an old, older heavyweight Abercrombie & Fitch sweatshirt. Um, I did have an Abercrombie & Fitch hoodie that was vintage. It was a champion reverse weave kind of style. And I think I got like, I like to say $250 or $350 for it. So that's why like some of this stuff kind of appeals to me because I'm like, is that one of the ones that could be $350? But it didn't look like this. It was just, it was the same brand. Um, but there was uh, two other containers like this, or three other containers like this within that section. And he sold it by container. So um, there were more clothes. There was, like I said, there's Michael Kors. There was more Abercrombie and Fitch. There was one that was just... Um, bun up shirts one that i think was thermal shirts so it was different this is the heavier weight this is the jackets and and sweatshirts but yeah older hollister probably when i say older i mean this is probably like 2000s you just don't find them that often and then there's a little more down here so i'll have fun going through this i'll see what's actually salvageable and what's still sellable Got a lot of work to do, but uh, yeah, so that was, that was a good buy, I think. Another buy that, you know, it's not really fun to kind of go through on camera, but there's definitely value there. So we have the suitcase, and then we got that box. The box is promising. I think I've seen some toolbox at the bottom, so. All right, let's see what's in this bad boy. Oh, that's probably a socket set. No, it is, what the heck is all this? Empty. A lot of just like miscellaneous, like papers, and can't figure it out. This looks like just probably gonna be fabric. This isn't even like, oh, that's nice. Well, put that aside. It's not nice, but it's a good clean sheet. There's a couple of those. Ooh, more. Might be a whole stack in here. So what it looks like. This looks like it's literally just sheets upon sheets upon sheets. Pillowcase. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be fabric. Lots and lots of. This is funky. Yep, just fabric. And not even fabric scraps. Like, this can just be from like curtains and bedding. I want to guess that this thing is probably going to be sockets. Almost because they're always sockets. Not sockets. Shocking. Let's not run over any of this. What is this? There's just paperwork. Mix of a thimble. I don't think that's silver. Sometimes these are. I gotta stop dropping these nails. I just run over this here on a bad day. The auctioneer actually got a flat tire on the way to the auction. So, hopefully got that sorted out. So I got to catch a plane tonight. So that probably looks like that's going to be it for the boxes upon boxes of pallet. Or the pallet with boxes upon boxes on it. There was definitely more than $25 worth of stuff, but, you know, there wasn't any huge home run pieces. Just good sellable merch. Obviously, the clothes are from a different palette. Um, so, that's that. And then the last box is from a completely different section. So, they're from different owners. Put this aside, and then we'll go through the last box. Okay, so this is the, the last box. I almost got it for 10 bucks, but someone bid really, really late and uh, ended up getting it for 30 so what's the big deal? Uh, I'm thinking that this is all camping gear, 
And I'm thinking, because I saw this, I'm wondering if it is one of those tents that have the stove pipe that goes through it. Would that look... I don't know if that's what that is. That's what I thought it was. I can be completely off. Nah, maybe not. I have to think that. This is Pro Studio Solutions. It's got everything. So realistically, this... Uh, this whole thing with all the lighters, the camping supplies, everything, I could probably get 20 or 30 bucks for. If somebody's serious about hiking, this is probably a great deal. It's like everything you need. So that's pretty good find there. Um, there looks like there's a toolbox here. And I think a red toolbox down there. So we'll see what these two, two boxes, tripods. Insane, that's, I don't know what you'd even do with that. Um, looks like there's more bags at the bottom. That's maybe a tent. Probably should just lay this down and pick it up. Nope, it's falling on me. Yeah, I should probably lay this thing down. That could be actually worth a lot of money. Uh, there's another one of these Paul C. Buff things down there, so we're going to see what this thing is. I mean, it could just be pots and pans. It's made by Black & Decker, so it's decent, but it's not, you know, Milwaukee or DeWalt or Makita or any of that. I'm pretty sure it's, I don't know if it's all there, but what else we got here? Ooh, lithium. So it's fairly new. It's a newer one. So I think we kind of hit a home run here. This thing right here is worth a lot of money. There's two of them. This is Paul C. Buff. Don't ask me about the name, but we have a power cord, which is good. I, I don't really know how this works, but if you want to look it up on eBay, that actually might go to this thing over here. That might go to this. So this was in that box that's back there. It says Manfrotto, made in Italy. I don't know if this goes to either this piece or it goes to the tripod. I still have not looked that up. I just quickly looked up this thing. If you want to look it up, type in Einstein or type in Paul C. Buff Einstein into eBay and you'll find a lot of pieces that look exactly like this. This one's a 640 ws whatever that is there is another one right here but i don't i didn't open this so i don't know what's in here this could be all like the lenses i uh i believe it is a um some sort of lighting unit it's like the chrome come on the chrome lens and i don't know what all this other stuff is but it probably goes to it in some way it's like, you'll see, if you type in that into eBay, you'll see one with a, a chrome lens. That's it right there. So this is a home run. Like, realistically, like, I didn't do a lot of research, but we're looking at between, like, $300 to $500 for the whole setup. Because I know this piece is expensive by itself. But with all the attachments and the bags, it really adds to the value. It still has the plastic on it. That's not cracked. No, that's just the waves in the plastic. I'll have to figure out how to even set this thing up to test it. But um, that is a home run. All right. That's uh, I know I'm not like shock baiting you guys into thinking I just hit the lotto. But um, that's a really good find. And it's something that I looked at first. And I was like, oh, I don't know if it's really anything good. I didn't see that in the, uh, the box. It was all the way at the bottom. Um, and the reason why I bought the box is kind of for the camping bag, and I thought it had all sorts of different high-end camping gear. There was also this. All right, it's just very simple. I never opened this. But I saw this also when I was packing up. Neat, interesting, great for a first apartment. Probably a little bit higher end than Black & Decker. Very similar, a little bit better than Harbor Freight. Um, but I mean, a hammer is a hammer. Let's not break this thing. A hammer is a hammer, and sockets are kind of sockets. Teach their own, but you got screwdrivers and other things. That's pretty simple. But I mean, I don't know what this set costs. This might cost 15, 20 bucks. Maybe realistically, probably 30 or 40 at like Walmart or uh, Home Depot. But 
I can definitely get 15 or $20 for this. So, I mean, this this and the Black & Decker piece um, will definitely pay for it. Now, I don't know what this is. It is a camera bag, I think. It might go to that stuff, but I can't get it undone because this one zipper is frozen in there. Oh, well, duh, I'm going the wrong way. Now I am going the right way. Yeah, no, this thing is like locked in there, so I'm gonna have to work on this. Hopefully it's a camera. Looks like it's got lenses for a camera. Oh no. I don't think there's a camera in. Uh, might, that might be it, or that's just more lenses. I'm really hoping there's a camera in here. I'm not like a huge camera nerd, so I really don't know much about it, but I imagine this stuff is probably expensive. No, there's no camera. Just a massive lens right here. But what is this? I mean, Nikon AF 7210M. This looks like it was dropped at one time. There's no camera, unfortunately. It looks like there's extra batteries. Yeah, there's batteries in there. I'm not even going like, to grab them, but there's batteries in there that have leaked. Like actual batteries, which is probably what that stuff is, like battery acid. There's more lenses. Alright, so I mean these are probably good. I don't I don't really know. The things with cameras is like it's almost like they become so outdated in years, but the really high-end stuff always keeps its value. But the you know, the common cameras. You find ones from like the 90s and 2000s that you think, oh wow, this is probably worth a ton of money and you go on eBay and they're worth like $8. So I'll have to look that up briefly, but we definitely hit a home run with this Einstein thing. We've also got a bunch of cool other items for the flea market. Some things I'll probably throw up online. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. Thanks for tagging along for another pallet unboxing. As you can see, I am freezing beyond freezing. It is so cold. It's 24 degrees out. It's kind of windy. And it's just, it's got like that moisture. It, it, it can snow any so I'm, I'm so cold out here, but uh, this deal, this pallet was hot. I spent a hundred bucks on a whole day and I think I'll do all right. So uh, thanks for tagging along. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more abandoned storage unit pallets and more fun pallet unboxings in the future. I'll try to do a bunch more here. And uh, thanks for tagging along. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.